Morning everybody, my name is Matt Bonenthal. I work with FETA Compacting America and I'm going to give you just a very brief introduction to FETA Compacting's newest and most innovative single-sided tablet press, the FE55. And as I go through this brief demonstration, if you would keep in mind the two primary design criteria that FETA Compacting utilized while developing the machine, those of efficiency and the try.easy concept. Try.easy representing the simplification of the three primary aspects of tablet press use, those being changeover, operation, and maintenance. The FE55 can be run in any of three modes. The first mode would make use of pre-compression and main compression for standard or classic monolayer compression. But it also gives the user the flexibility of adding a third set of compression rolls, as you see installed here. So in the second mode, you can use the press very effectively for difficult products or products that require more compression time. By adding that roll assembly, you can increase your available dwell time by up to 50%. In the final mode, the third set of compression stations are utilized as pre-tamping for the first layer of a double layer tablet. Fully automated sampling features. So as we go through the press, if you think of a granule being introduced into the hopper, you can see that you have a very unencumbered gravity feed down to the new filling cone. The filling cone makes use of one paddle only. It has an inverted conical shape so that as the granule enters the feed frame, it cascades over the point of the cone. Pre-filling and overall filling times have been optimized for more efficacious filling of the die cavities. And from a maintenance perspective, there is also an ingenious design underneath the base of the filling cone. Through the use of a, an easily adjustable rail system, the user can manipulate the height of the feeder base plate in relation to the die table surface in positive lock increments of 30 microns. Once again, this is all about efficiency, and by being able to make this easy adjustment on the fly, the operator can optimize yields and minimize product loss. One of the biggest innovations and one of the most important features that distinguish the FE55 is the fact that the turret is very large relative to the footprint. With a 550 millimeter pitch circle diameter, you can utilize up to a maximum of 87 stations on this press in only 1.6 meters squared of floor space. It's an unprecedented ratio for output to real estate. The compression stations on the machine are completely redesigned. 10 tons for all three stations. Load cells utilize absolute encoders on their CAN modules, so the press is always aware of its own positioning. There is an automatic parking position on the roll assemblies. Once the operator drives the roll assemblies to that position, they can remove the turret from this press very easily with no further modifications or movements required. And with integrated measuring amplifiers on the load cells, load cell replacement in the case of preventative maintenance can be taken care of in 30 minutes or less. In the case of running in bilayer mode, there is a pneumatically actuated lower compression roll assembly so that in the event that the operator wishes to periodically take samples of the first layer only to ensure good weights, that lower roll assembly can make instantaneous adjustments to hardness so that a first layer sample can be taken off the rear of the machine. When the sampling interval runs its course, everything goes back to good production. The entire interval requires four seconds only. Again, it moves at light speed and it is all about efficiency and maximizing yields. As finished tablets come to the front corner of the machine, you can see that the discharge assembly comes through the corner post at a 45 degree angle. This is done in the first case such that when peripheral devices such as metal checks and deducters are installed outside of the press, the operator can gain access from all four sides without having to dismantle the peripheral devices and reinstall them. The discharge assembly is removed with the push of one button only. It releases itself, and inside this mechanism, all components that come into contact with the product are stainless steel. They can be easily removed and cleaned. And the diverter mechanisms that are used for either diverting quality control samples or out-of-specification tablets are mounted on eccentric cams 
and they move in a way such that a continuous channel is always maintained, completely eliminating any risk of a broken or incomplete tablet making its way into the good discharge chute. And the final innovation that we'll mention just briefly is the new HMI or human machine interface panel which you can see here. Extremely ergonomic design, smooth surfaces, and 19-inch touchscreen display. Anything that is installed on the machine in the way of the compression stations is reflected accurately on the terminal as well. The operating platform for the machine is Windows 7 embedded. We authenticate through Win Logon, taking advantage of the security features inherent in the Windows platform. And for troubleshooting purposes, many of the mechanisms that a maintenance engineer might require access to, such as CPU status, digital I.O. status, safety PLC information, can be monitored and adjusted on the terminal in real time. So now we'll just put the press into motion for a few moments so that you can see what it does. Thank you very much. For more information, we would invite those viewers to visit our website at www.fetacompacting.com. Thank you.